find rhythm in my day-to-day -day activities. There is music in my body. I can feel my rhythmic heartbeat. There's harmony in nature, there's melody in emotions, and there's dynamics in dreams. Music is an inseparable part of my life. My music teacher once told me, there's nothing more effective than music to connect with God. It's a direct connection. Like music, architecture also plays a big part in my life. I love designing spaces as much as I love expressing my emotions through music. As an architect, designing spaces is my passion. I believe space expresses and defines my emotions and allows me to realize my dreams in a tangible form. Space provides a context for my emotions. Together, music and space make me feel alive. So, as an architect, urban planner, and a vocalist who started singing at the age of eight, I decided to combine my two passions. I thought, why not design spaces that will enhance the effectiveness of the function of those spaces? How can I design a space using attributes of music to get a better feel and emotional impact out of the space? For example, could I design a house with a tone in a way that would make me forget about all the worries? Could I design a spa using tone and texture to get a greater feeling of calmness and more relaxation along with the actual physical treatments? Could I design an office space with rhythm to increase the effectiveness of the work done in the space? Could I design a healthcare facility with harmony to allow for better and faster healing? How can I explore the connection between the human mind, music, and architecture? As the 18th century writer and poet, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe said, music is liquid architecture, and architecture is frozen music. There is structure in music, and there's rhythm in architecture. Similar to the impact of music on the human mind, it influences space as well. Do you feel any difference in this space before and after I sang? Yes. Music creates moods and adds an intangible dimension to the space. A minute of music can create an entirely different mood in the room. The effect of music in an open space is much different versus the effect in a closed space. And the impact of those spaces is diverse on different people. For my architectural college thesis, I conducted a survey to see what impact music had on individuals in different spaces. 
According to my observation, the people I surveyed said that the same music had a different impact on them in different spaces. In a serene, secluded open space versus in a public open space versus in a closed, soundproof room. There were two reasons for this result. One is the relationship between the space and the music. And the other is the relationship between the human mind and the space we are in. Music has an impact on the human mind as well as the space where we listen to or perform the music in. According to my observation, I decided to further pursue my interest in designing harmonious spaces. Music has a unique quality to appeal to the feelings and create moods. The basis for my study was to use that quality of music in exploring designing harmonious spaces. When music is being played at any place, that space comes to life. The research, case studies and interviews I did for my thesis led me to come up with two basic concepts that I used as a basis for designing harmonious spaces. One, music that can be seen in architecture, like rhythmic arrangement of architectural elements. These are both high-rise buildings. The Green Building at MIT is a composition of repetitive rhythm, while this building in Battery Park, New York City is a composition of harmony, tone, and texture with its setbacks and material. This building in San Francisco is a composition of three different beats with three different window patterns at the three levels. While this hallway in a building at Princeton University is a melody with an arrangement of consecutive Gothic arches. The second concept is the music that can be emotionally experienced in spaces, like serenity in a religious space. We can feel music in certain spaces. Imagine a space situated in a secluded area, surrounded by trees and a lake. You enter a semi-open space that leads to a closed space with solid walls and indirect ambient natural lighting. There's a focal point at the center of the space with a beam of direct light on it. Do you feel music in the arrangement of the space? Now imagine yourself at this plaza in Boston. Now feel it with the music. It comes to life. Now let's feel a different space at this resort in Sri Lanka with the same music. The mood created is different than the previous space. see another example. This is a step well in India. Now feel it with a different kind of music. Now let's see another indoor space with the same music.
These spaces get another dimension. Combining the two concepts, I thought, could I design a space that has musical attributes to its structure as well as the feel of music in the space? One of the important factors in designing spaces is materials. For example, acoustic materials used in an auditorium or a recording studio enhance the music played. Using creative materials, a space can be enhanced to create echo, vibrations, and such effects which will heighten the feel of music as well as the dynamics of the activity performed in the space. Another important player in designing spaces is light. Natural light or artificial light used in an appropriate amount can create an entirely different mood in the space and it can create an intended environment required by the space. Light provides dynamics, tone and texture to the space. A room with a pattern of light in it is much more vibrant than a room with no windows at all or a one big window. Landscaping also plays an important role in designing spaces, especially open and semi-open spaces. The music created by trees and plants, as well as the texture, helps set a particular mood to the space and complements to the and complements the activities performed in the space. In each of these harmonious designs for open spaces, there's a specific attribute of music that sets a mood for the space. The space becomes active with the music created by the plants and the trees. We can communicate our feelings through music, while architecture is an expression of feelings in the form of structures. We can use music to respond to the context created within the space. Many, but not all of us, perceive music through our ears, while we perceive space through vision and touch. But what we perceive through different senses gets analyzed simultaneously by the brain. So let's translate this unique ability of the brain into a unique architectural character. Let's, comp let's design a composition of spaces that build, nurture, heal, and protect lives. Thank you. <laughs>